This is Matthew Jennings, Director of Communications, and I'm out here with... Vanessa Garretts. And this is... Oceanside Week in One Minute. Awesome. During virtual learning in Oceanside, arts education has, in many ways, just gotten more creative. From singing over Zoom meetings to shaping ceramics, we are highlighting some of the ways students have been turning to expressive outlets at home. So my name is Vanessa Garretts and I work over at Jefferson Middle School and I teach uh, choir, show choir, musical theater and art. The virtual learning environment has been challenging but it's also been really, really a neat experience. Definitely um, helping teachers grow their skills and students grow their skills in technology, if nothing else. Even if I'm not able to hear them, I'm still able to see the joy in their faces when they're um, having fun and getting excited about doing the arts. Students need the opportunity to um, release and they need to be expressive. That moment to you know decompress and laugh and find joy in, in a music medium. And the El Camino High School AP 3D design class has worked on projects including anatomical sculpting and designing a book with a word representing their quarantine experience. In the beginning of the school year, we were able to give out, I gave out uh, 2,250 pounds of clay uh, to all my students in a sketchbook. Um, my word was anxious because quarantine for me was an anxious time. I'm about two thirds of the way done with my quarantine project. It's not looking exactly how I want it to. I need to make everything a little deeper. Like an S and then a T. Yeah, um, and then I chose this book too because like my grandma had it, but it kind of fits with it. It's called like The Woman in the Window, and I thought that kind of like worked with quarantine and stuff. That's it for this week. See you next time.